feel being home and back on campus? It feels great. Um, there's nothing like Stanford. It's so beautiful. And it's so nice to be close to San Jose, too. So I've loved our time in the Bay so far. Naomi, mm -hmm. um, what's so special about playing here in the Bay Area? You're a San Jose native. Yeah, I think for me it's just um, having my family here, my community. I grew up here and then went to Stanford, so I've spent a lot of time in Northern California. Um, a lot of people who I'm close to are here, so I think it's just so special to have our send-off game in front of my friends and family. How many do you expect that might be there on Sunday for, for you in terms of friends? Um, let's see. My mom has asked me for like 20 tickets. <laughs> so outside of that, um, I'm sure I'll have a few more friends, but yeah. To kind of get to this point in your career, you know, 23, potentially starting with the U.S. Women's National Team, to have this game here, just what, can that kind of be a moment to reflect or, or are you too focused right now to kind of enjoy the moment in that way? I think right now it's, um, yeah, like you said, like it's special to be here. Um, but the focus is on World Cup prep and our send-off game, just kind of refining the details and getting ready to head to New Zealand. So, um, yeah, I think um, it's great to be here, and I'm happy um, that the game's in San Jose. But, um, you know, the thing I'm most happy about is being on the roster and heading to the World Cup. And being from San Jose and playing here at Stafford, do you feel this has come full circle now for you, not being on the women's national team? Yeah, it's a cool moment, I think, just to have my family here and um, for them to, I think, since I've, got my first cap. This is our first game in California, so um, it's special to have a game close to home. Naomi, you um, had such a special time here on that field, and you have a teammate who has opted not to have that, could have been coming to Stanford. Did you talk to her? I don't know if you were involved in recruiting her, Alyssa, at all? Or, oh, Alyssa. Um, um, and have you talked to her about her choice to, to skip the college experience? Um, not really. Um, I mean, I think for her, it was making the decision that was best, like in her situation. So, um, yeah, I think she's done great at LA, and um, obviously not making this roster. Um, she's had a great start to her professional career. It wasn't how long ago that you were playing here with Stanford. Like, what kind of comes to your mind walking in here now as a member of the women's national team? Like, what memories kind of come to mind? Just like freshman year, preseason, being so excited. Um, to start playing here and um, with playing with a lot of players who are on this roster. Um, I think there, I've just had so many special memories here um, and I feel like I grew up a lot um, on this field. So um, it's really cool to be back. Rapino has said in an interview that they can't leave you off the field. How much confidence does that give you in your game knowing that that veteran leadership is really just has that much confidence in you to be able to bring it up? Yeah, I think um, Get it, having that confidence from, you know, um, other teammates, especially older teammates, um, just gives me as a younger player that, that much more confidence to feel like I can make an impact. And I think throughout um, last year, starting at San Diego, starting with the national team, that support from teammates has been huge for me and um, not only giving me confidence, but advice and guidance. So, yeah, I think um, they've done a great job of guiding us and um, making us feel confident and, um, yeah, making us feel like we have a place here. And you've had an incredible last year. How would you describe this past year? Um, I mean, this past year has been great, but it's been it's been building towards this summer. So um, I think now it's all eyes on New Zealand, New Zealand and Australia and um, going out and performing at the World Cup. How has the last week been in terms of getting together, you, you guys came from everywhere last week and, yeah. and going to Santa Barbara, the bonding, all of that. It's been really good. Um, I think it's always fun when we're all in together and um, just having time to, like you said, bond and um, yeah, just spend time together because we haven't been in camp since April. Um, I think we've all seen each other when we've played against each other and we'll meet up, but um, it's different when we're all in camp together. So it's been, it's been a good time. Thank you. As a product of the Bay Area and the soccer scene, what, what do you, does it mean to you kind of as a local that the NWSL is coming here and that the AFC will be here, you know, seven, eight months' time now? I think it's great. I mean, the expansion teams in California have been so successful. I think Angel City, San Diego, we've done a great job of growing the league, um, bringing more followers, and just um, – like getting out in our community. So I'm excited that there's a team here now for a lot of young girls growing up here, playing soccer in the Bay to look up to. And for me, I'm excited to have a game at home every year.
and I was going to say, when you grew up, I, there were other leagues and professional, but it didn't last in the way that the NWSL has. What do you, like, who were you looking up to growing up that, you know, this team can now be in that way? Yeah, I think for me, it was more looking at the colleges here. So I remember, like, going to watch Julie Ertz at Santa Clara um, and going out to Santa Clara-Stanford game. So I think now that there's a professional team, it's only going to expand um, the horizons of what girls will dream of. So I think it's really great that they're going to have that much more to look up to. And obviously, there's quite a few Stanford folks who I'm sure are super thrilled to be here. You do have a couple, you know, Alex maybe in particular, maybe don't have the same type of memories here. Has there been a little Bay Area smack talk back <laughs> this week? Or? Um, no. It's hard to smack talk Stanford, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there's been like a like Ashley Sanchez, like oh I remember when we would play you guys here, just like the UCLA, the Pac-12. So um, it's pretty fun. But I think it's just been a lot of the Stanford girls reminiscing and like loving our time here. Um, I think just throughout this year, um, just making sure I'm enjoying the moment and, um, you know, focusing on the little details, but also not stressing about them. Um, controlling what I can control has been a big one for me as a pro. Um, yeah, I just think all of the thing, all of those things have helped me get to where I am today. All right, we're going to get Blocko in here. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.